broadly speaking, I'm a sculptor and I'm interested in ideas about sculpture. I was thinking about how long can something sustain something before it collapses or fatigues. About two years ago, I started working on a body of work called How Long Can I Hold This Up? And it has to do with a lot of the work I'd made previously. And then I was playing around with this in the studio, mucking about, and I wrote it on a piece of paper, and then I held up the piece of paper in front of me and took a photograph, and it was at that exact point that the work took off. It just seemed really rather hilarious to me that I could hold up a piece of paper with this question on it, which is clearly light. I happened to be in a range of different countries. I would walk around and I would wait until I felt like I had the right moment. And partly that's about me and how I was feeling in the context of the street. I was looking particularly for just a very ordinary, very everyday place where I also at the same time felt right about holding up the placard. I don't position myself in the way that maybe activists might or politicians might, where they're interested in educating. My artwork and what I'm interested in doing is asking questions and provoking maybe something within someone that might take longer than the short sound bite to actually work on an individual. I deliberately made these works using posters and using the methods of rock and roll posters, so it really belongs to the language of the street. I'm really interested in the way artwork actually provide a way of um, asking questions, really fundamental questions about what it is we do and how it is we go about things. I certainly play with the limits of what you might consider an artwork to be. How long can I hold this up? You know, like, how long can humanity support this sort of lifestyle? I have no idea. Probably this is kunst. I actually just don't know. I have to wash it because it can't be washed. I have no idea. It's a mystery. It brightens up the city. Is it postmodernism gone mad? It's interesting. It's very amusing. I really think it's well put together. Because it's a question, it provokes responses in people, and it's really very natural for someone to make a joke. Um, which I had some really very humorous responses, which I liked very much. There was a situation where something happened which was much more extreme and profoundly upsetting. Someone came and approached the work very deliberately. He put his bag down and a felt tip pen did emerge. He launched towards the work. Like you would with my own child, I just found myself launching to grab the pen. And in that moment, then, I found myself being thrown back and then a tirade of verbal abuse. Really what it brought home to me, which I've always known in a theoretical context, how contested um, public space is. How public space is a voice for people's concepts and ideas to be heard. And in this particular situation, uh, there was a conflict because this particular person who was profoundly angry probably wanted to have his particular voice heard too. The function of art is to ask questions. Working within the discipline, I really want to make good art. It might be just a little seed or a little feeling or a question. I'm wanting to give something to people that they can take away with them.